Oh, I can... If you don't mind. Yeah, don't worry at all. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for today's post day's press conference featuring Sipo Mariki. We will to take one question at a time. Who would like to start us off? Start. Yeah, uh, and if you'll introduce yourself as well. If you... I'm, I'm Andrew from uh, New Zealand TV and uh, New Zealand Herald. Cool. Uh, tell us about your day, because I mean, uh, uh, working with your first book, this <laughs> cricket must be a real thrill, mm -hmm. but a day of attrition uh, as, as well against uh, well, Williamson and Rodrigo, so take yeah. us through that. Yeah, no, it started off really well. Um, yeah, I was nervous this morning, but um, yeah, it was good to get off to a flying start. Um, <clears throat> but we knew it was going to be difficult. Um, they're a good batting lineup, um, experience. They played a lot of cricket together. So for us, we knew we were going to have to stick in there, um, toil. And yeah, we did create a couple of chances that went down, but that happens sometimes in cricket. Um, but yeah, I thought we stuck at it quite nicely. Um, and we were able to create pressure in moments, and hopefully we can uh, do more of the same tomorrow. What will you look to change, or how will you look to? <clears throat> um, yeah, no, it's having having just come off the field, haven't given it much thought yet. Um, but yeah, I, I just think it's one of those wickets where um, there's very little pace in it. So I think it's gonna you, you're gonna have to look to create opportunities through creating pressure, trying to get that run rate back down to two and a half, two point six maybe, um, and trying to create a chance that way. Earlier on, uh, Rwanda Swart, I thought, t bowled nicely, and he was able to create pressure and create that chance. Uh, with Kane playing, uh, coming out of the wicket and playing that shot over, over cover. Um, so I think it's more of that, more of just being uh, patient, old school, old fashioned test cricket. I'm Andrew from Stuff. Hi, Andrew. Um, at T, the run rate was only 2.4. You know, mm. did you feel those first two sessions, you <clears> even got the wickets, you still done a mm. good job of. Mm, I thought so. I think they scored 65 runs in the first two hours, 60 in the second session. Um, yeah, I thought we created a lot of pressure. I thought we were really, really good. Um, the lengths we had, I thought, were really good today. Um, and obviously, <clears throat> the more you get it on this wicket, I think the better, the easier it becomes. Tough to start, I think. Uh, tough to through the line initially. And so, once I think they got in and they got the pace of the wicket, I think it was a little bit easier for them. Uh, the softness of the ball, the pace of the wicket. So, all of those things. I think play a massive part, um, and obviously the run rate then went up to about threes to end the day off, which is sort of to be expected um, when the conditions get easier. But yeah, I thought all in all it was a pretty good day. Um, we would have probably taken that rate. Uh, would like maybe a couple more wickets, um, but yeah, it wasn't to be. You mentioned the uh, few nerves, the six of you who were on debut this morning. Mm -hmm. um, how do you think the you know, first night's sleep and then waking up for your second day of this trip? Mm. Knowing the challenge in front of you is going to be like. Yeah, yeah. I think <clears throat> I think day two will be I think easier emotionally. Um, I think we're in the game now, and um, you know the live bullets are flying. So um, now it's just about playing cricket. I think we've all played enough games of first class cricket to to be able to uh, find a way on there on that surface to try and you know stop the scoring or trying to create more opportunities and stuff. But yeah, I think tomorrow will be a little bit easier for us. Um, a few sore bodies, but um, nothing we can't deal with. Ian Anderson from Stuff. Cool. Um, when Neil won the toss and decided to bowl, mm -hmm. was he expecting a lot of assistance early from that wicket, or maybe just for the first hour or so, and, mm -hmm. and try and nab out what you could then, and then realise that it was going to become that sort of grind that it was from then on? Mm, I think, obviously, not a lot of us have played here, so we weren't sure. Um, you see, a pretty even covering of grass, quite a lot of it. Um, we thought, you know, if you get more balls than not to the right area, first hour, first hour and a half, sort of. Try to create a lot of chances that way. We could try to get into them in the middle order pretty early with a, a pretty fresh ball on a day one wicket. Obviously, we didn't take <clears throat> as many wickets as we'd liked. Um, but yeah, I think Neil, we felt it was going to do, uh, do a bit this morning, and we knew it would end up being a bit of a grind. And I thought we stuck at it pretty well, um, all things considered. So yeah, pretty happy, I think, yes, on balance. So you, you, you applied that pressure and created a chance, and so missed that chance. Is mm. that sort of emblematic of, of how tough test cricket is, for example, if you had taken that chance then that day would have mm. gone pretty well for you possibly. Mm, for sure. I think it's, it's one of those things, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> a few guys on, like you said, on debut and all that sort of stuff. So um, also with the wind as well, blowing that way, it's not, it's not an easy catching ground, very, very blue skies. So obviously you've got to t you, you want to take all the chances you get. Um, but yeah, I think, <clears throat> yeah, I think you just think it was a, a, a a couple of you know, tough-ish chances that go down, and like I mean, we aren't too hard on anybody in the team, so you know we'll come again tomorrow um, and and do it all over again.